Greetings, dear suckers. My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to the Black Frog. Last time we a lot of silly stuff happened, let's say. Anyway. We've got two more of these thingamajigs to deal with. Uh, one's to the west, the other, the east. Okay, where would those be then? The Children of the Black Frog and the Abandoned Fishery, I guess. Somewhere around there, anyway. Okay then, let's see if we can figure out where the fuck we need to go. I guess let's go swing by over to the Children of the Black Frog first, because... Because... Because, 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 because... Because of the wonderful things he does. Okay. Surely... One of these things that we have will be the key to this place. Maybe the rust. Maybe the one uh, rusty key. Haven't figured out what where this goes to. Yep. Okay. Where is the lock? What am I putting the? What was I putting that key into? Well, a mystery we will take to our graves then. And ah. Uh, okay then. Where do I- oh, hello. What's this then? Oh! Excuse you! Oh. That's just fucking fantastic, isn't it? Okay. Time to go get a box. Again. I feel like that's half of what I've been doing in this in this level. <gasps> Running around <laughs> carrying boxes. Okay, where? I know there's another box somewhere around here. Here we go. Come on, let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Fucking ladders, man. Clingy bastards. Okay. Um. Did I break it? Oh no, okay, I see. It just didn't reset. Okay, now let's. Ha! I can't even move. Nice. Ah, uh, you love to see it. Just to make sure. Yeah, okay. Unfortunately, that means I'm gonna have to use that the whole time I'm over here, but... Mm. Okay. Let's go, then. Oh, ooh, what's this? Jack shit, that's what. Okay. Sure has been giving me a lot of water arrows, considering how little use there has been for water arrows. Fuck. So many of the lights have been either lanterns or mushrooms or what have you. Or just easily avoidable. Oh, hi. You okay, man? You don't look so good. Here. Uh, what's you that? Here, uh, you should have a lie down. Go. Yeah. <clears throat> wow, that was a long fucking knockout animation. <clears throat> God damn. Am I coming through alright? I think so. Hang on, let me check. Sorry about that. I've been tr I've been fucking around with the game lately. It feels like either 
It really just feels like either I'm just coming through really faintly or loud and with a weird electrical buzz. I don't know. Such is life. Sleeping person. I detest sleeping people. Where are you? Up there. Ugh. Can I get an angle? <gasps> no. I think she must be up there. In that kind of attic looking place. Could I? I wonder if I could take her out with a gas arrow. That would be funny. I don't. I only have one gas arrow, but we're pretty close to the end. I wonder if I could take out the Chiraka. The fuck is happening up there? Excuse me? What the f Okay, by the sounds of it, I think I've just un unleashed some ancient evil by doing that. What the fuck? Okay. Sure. That might as well be a thing. What? I don't know enough about quantum physics to understand this. Moss arrows, okay. Boy, they sure do give you a lot of food on this on this mission. Perhaps foolish of them, considering how many how easily it is, how easily it is, how he how easy it is to. Break the mission with them. Okay. Thought she had stopped snoring for a second there. Well, I guess she did stop snoring for a second there, but never mind. wiring as opposed to winter wiring okay I don't know what that means what I don't, I don't know what that means seriously what what the fuck is spring wiring is it wiring for a spring but what that what the hell would that even mean or is it wiring that is itself Spring? But what the hell would that even mean? I don't know. Okay. Alright. 
Can I make it across there? <laughs> Not with one. Okay. Okay, now... Oh, I hate the dropping mechanics in this game so much. Okay, maybe that's good enough. No. Mantle, you stupid bastard. Okay, surely that's gotta be enough. It is. And don't call me Shirley. I uh, should have mossed this place up before I went up here, but oh well. And just like that. Voila. Now, how do I get down? Uh, oh, wait, elevator. Wait, could I have done that the whole time? Was there just like a convenient elevator there that I didn't even try to use? Uh, well. Whoops. But hey, that was way more fun. Oh, hello. Just like waterfalls, you always want to be looking for the stuff behind the elevators. I guess elevators and waterfalls are kind of similar in some ways. Uh, can I get down here without dying horribly? Ah. Uh, I survey says no. So, oh no, this part was broken. Wait, is that what the? Yeah, that must be what the spring wiring was for. Okay, now where was that? Where the heck did that guy come from that I saw a bit ago? Oh, hi. Do I hear three people? Or at least two? The heck? What? Where are all these people coming from? Okay. Well, I know where they're going too, which is not where I am, so. Oh, god damn it, of course there'd be another person. Oh my god, this never ends! There must be like a dozen people here! Where did these people come from? Hmm. It's, safe. it's a good thing they're retarded or this would be an issue! Quite. What the fuck am I? L I always. Huh? What? Oh, now, th now that's just fucking bullshit. Okay, so I guess if I, if I take her out, if I very fairly knock this random woman out, she just magically becomes a demon or whatever and kills me. Yeah, sure, that makes perfect fucking sense. Great game design. Lady of the Greens, keep up. Oof. Think it's <laughs> You say right after someone just got knocked up right in front of you. Think it's safe? Hard to tell. Yeah. Real hard to tell. <laughs> Air for swiftness, earth for strength, water for thought. And what about fire? Oh. 
What? Are you kidding me? Okay, so it's just fucking random, apparently. Okay, so just fucking random bozos just randomly turn into a do goddamn demon when you've fairly and perfectly knocked them out. Sure. Why not? This makes perfect sense and is completely fair and reasonable. Huh? What's he there? Oh! Oh, this time it worked! What? What are the rules? What are the rules? What? That time it worked. <sighs> sure, why not? I don't know enough about quantum physics to understand any of this. You know what? Fuck you. And fuck you. And fuck you and you. And fuck you, and fuck you, because why not? Not like I'm gonna actually use any of the most of the water arrows in the fraction of the level I have left. Okay, okay. I thought that was gonna be like a statue guy or whatever, but no, he just had a weird outfit. Okay. What fresh hell is this then? Oh, are we near that one place? I, that's not a particularly descriptive. Whatever. Healing potion. Yay. This level gives you so many healing items. I don't know why. She swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. Oh, hi. Alright, another secret. And. Monstrous' skull. Okay! We have Monstrous' skull! Who is Monstrous? Monstrous! That's who! I guess! Sure, why not? We can't even, like. I'm like, right clicking and it's doing nothing. So it's not even like it's something that I can like use somewhere, it's just Munstraz's skull. <laughs> sure. Now what's the deal with this place anyway? Um regular skull that I Okay. Oh! What? Um Pardon me? Wait. Oh, I see. <gasps> These Chris weird crystal things, they're a teleporter. Oh, that's why there's the water here. They don't want to teleport you directly onto the ground for fear of you getting clipped into it or something. Yo. But they 
so they have you f above the ground and then drop into that so that you don't take fall damage or something. Or don't... Uh, I guess. Something like that. Or maybe it's just them being fucking weirdos. I don't know. Pleasant. Wait a minute, that wouldn't... That doesn't look like it's being held up enough. That would surely fall off. Whatever. Hi. A stone of life. So that's how they stay so young. Do they stay so... Okay, so I've got... Th that's the Black Flag's treasure then. What is it? Oh. I see. It... It heals me when I click on it. Okay, I was... I was kind of hoping for something a bit more monetary, but... Sure. Healing all that damage I've taken, that probably won't matter at all, because... Health barely matters in this game. Sure. Wait, does that... Hmm. Wait, does that mean that... Is Garrett immortal now? Since he's taken from the... Stone of Life, or whatever. Or is it just like something that... Or is it just something that, that like, restores your youth every time you partake of it? So you have to keep partaking of it in order to stay immortal. Follow-up question, would that mean that Garrett is actually now... Younger? I guess that would explain his voice being a bit different. <laughs> Actually, that was a pretty damn good imitation of Garrett, but of course it was it's still noticeable uh, Because obviously it is. That's that done So where? Oh right, of course there was that one place remember Um shit, where was it? Oh right I thought I was gonna be led back to it around when I Bypass that one area, but then I was led back to a different thing in the jig instead. Which means that <sighs> this place is still a mystery. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay then. Dead people. D -d 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 dead people. Dead people aren't much fun. Hence why Garrett avoids killing people. Okay, what am I dealing with then? <sighs> Spiders to the left of me. Spiders to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Okay. Now here's a fun little tidbit for you. Obviously, you can't draw your arrow while you're while you're mantling. But on the other hand, if you were to Yeah, see? You can get a real quick draw on them. If you start drawing your arrow before you start mantling, it really feels like some sweet fucking Robin Hood shit. It also makes absolutely no sense, physically speaking, but oh well, this is thief. Will you shut up? Hello? Anyone coming after you? Yes. Yes, there is. Oh, yeah. Star Wars, baby. <sighs> I actually really enjoy dealing with spiders in this game in open areas like this. In 
more close to off areas, it can be rather irritating. They're just so fucking satisfying to just peg with a with a single arrow from a million miles away <laughs> or with a mantle shot like that. Ooh. And just see and just hear them see and hear them shrivel up. Oh. Well, we figured out where this where this goes to. Alright. I don't know. There's just something so viscerally satisfying. It's also nice because it's a rare instance where broadhead arrows are actually really useful. Because spiders are... If you've got to take them out with like a blackjack or a sword or something, they're actually really annoying to deal with. So it's an interesting sort of dichotomy. Much like the dichotomies present in the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise. Hello. Yep, you ain't slick. Oh, why did you get caught on? Me? This is a commanding view. Now where are those little ticky tacky little feet? Hello. You're not all this down there, are you? I hear two sets of hissing. Hmm. You always want to take out the big ones first because they, because the small ones, easy enough to deal with because you can just. What? No, that's definitely wood. What the fuck? Whatever. The small ones you can take out with a single shot. Always. Okay, there we go. Bloody hell. Um. Hmm, didn't think this one through. Oh! But the large ones. See if I can jump down. Huh, that works. The large ones, you gotta be. They got you gotta be undetected for it to actually work. Let's see. Can I get an angle? No, there. Oh. More windows here. Where are you? Might already be. I might already be rumbled. Fuck. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. Alright, there we go. Broken switch. Door that won't open because reasons. Ooh. Water arrows. Yay. Uh, okay, how do I get through there? What the fuck was that? Ah, damn it. Whoops. Crate, crate, crate. Anything up there? No. 
Um, oh! Aha! Here we go. Brought ahead arrows. Yay. Where the, where the fuck did you come from? Where the fuck did you go? You vanished from existence when you went out of sight. Okay then. Oh hey. Yoink. What a farce. Oh, -ho, hello. Well, that was an absolute fucking farce. Okay. <laughs> Guy walks off screen, vanishes from existence, then his head falls perfectly straight down. And then, after his head falls, then he finishes his sentence and lets out his last breath. Sure. Seems reasonable. Nothing outside of charts and norms. And... Okay. That's... Yeah, good. You have deactivated all the mechanisms that keep the tower closed. Now access the tower and enter the castle. Alright. Now... Where was that? <sighs> Shut up! Here we go. Okay. Is that it? That's all that's in here? Just a lever to disable a bit of security that uh, could easily be circumvented otherwise by even the slightest bit of thought? Oh, wait, maybe? Lady Victor, the tower is operational. The transmitters are turned on, and now nothing will interfere with your peace. No intruder can access the castle. Regarding the ultimate protections that surround the glyph within the castle, I'll let you know more later. Okay, that just wasn't very useful. Yep, that's literally all they did. Just retract that. Yay. That certainly was much ado about nothing. Um, let me go grab a crate before I do that. For obvious reasons. Man, this place is just an endless wellspring of crates, isn't it? I was like, I hope there's still one left, and then there were, turned out there were two. <laughs> God. 
god, there are so many fucking crates on this level. I guess it's to make up for all of those missions I've played before, where there were like none at all. Not in this campaign, I mean just in general, really. Now, watch and learn. <laughs> Look at him, he's just fucking standing there, menacingly. When did he return there? I mean, I guess it makes sense to. S I guess it makes sense to stand there because it's a nice easy choke point, so they can stop people from. I retract everything I just said. <laughs> there we go. Now to spring the trap. Wait, why did I have a breath potion? I mean, I guess there were a couple points where I was underwater, but... Nothing of any real length. What the heck? Also, I never got use out of that invisibility potion. Oh well. Uh... Good evening, Garrett. You escaped the wrath of the Taraka. Un unfortunately for you, you fell right into my trap. I am sorry for you, Garrett. You lost. Emily. Oh no, what a trap. I can't possibly escape this incredible trap. I'm just dead. I have nothing I could possibly do to escape. I'm just doomed to fail. I guess I can't possibly get out. Oof. I don't know what the heck those noises were about, but okay. <laughs> now what? Oh, no, seriously, now what? <laughs> I escaped the trap with trivial ease, but now how do I proceed? That almost rhymed. Well, I guess it's time to leave then. The Black Frog isn't actually here, it's been spirited away somewhere else. Where? Somewhere. Is that what she spent time doing rather than evacuating her people? Wouldn't put it past her. Well, I guess it's time to go then. Her incompetent trap completely failed. What a shocker. So... Nothing left to do but hit the road and try and figure out where to go from here then. So that was the Black Frog, I guess. Kind of a weird ending for the campaign, I suppose, but hey, it's certainly unique. And you know, I can dig an open ending like this. It's certainly better than the shitty endings some fan missions and campaigns have had. And yeah, overall, this campaign was very hit or miss, I'll be honest. Uh, did some very strange, strange things, and made some very questionable decisions. And I'd say this mission in particular is easily the best of the four. It still made some questionable decisions, I'll admit, but there was a lot of, there was a lot of good to it. There was some good level design, including some very fun ways of, uh, let's say, bending the level design. Bending it till it breaks in some cases. Uh, and overall, I had a lot of fun, even if significant parts of it were very much silly buggers. And that's a lot more than I can say for... <laughs> Some fan missions or fan campaigns, including some that are very well respected by a lot of Thief fans for some reason. So yeah, The Black Frog, a weird campaign that made a lot of weird decisions and had a very weird ending. What else is there to say? Nothing except this. I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, 
unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and sayonara, suckers.